Hello and welcome to the program. I'm Ben Cleary. You know, during tax season, you need information sometimes, and you need to know where to look for that information. And one thing that we've tried to do is provide information in a concise area in different places where you can go to it quickly and easily and find the information you want. We're going to be talking today about some of the self-research tools that we have for you in our software. Our guest today is Stephanie Bradford. Stephanie, of course, is Director of Customer Care here at CCH Small Firm Services. Steph, good to have you with us. Thank you very much. Uh, some of the self-research tools that we have now, uh, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about things that are inside the software already, mm -hmm. probably things that have been there for a while, but some customers may not realize that they have it. And some things have been updated this year, such as the help files have really been enhanced. So I want to point that out so people will try it again, try to use that. Then we have other outside things like um, we're partnered with some other companies that can help you out with tax information or um, computer information, and of course the Solution Center online. Okay. Let's uh, go to the computer screen, if you would. Navigate through some of these for us and uh, show us what's out there. Okay. All right. In talking about the self-research options, the first place I want to go is the Solution Center. And I'll mention um, first our TV show. These are things that you can do every day for tax season or even several times a day to stay in touch with the most important information that you'll need for tax season. So I'm clicking on ATX TV. And this is where you would go to see the morning show. Good Morning SFS comes on live every weekday morning at 9 a.m. And then we archive it so you can watch it any time that day until we tape the next one for the following day. And I suggest that you um, start the day with this if possible. If you have employees who come in later in the day, they could watch it real quick. If you miss it, we take some of that same information and we put it on latest news. So you could come on to the support site and you could click there and anything that was discussed on the show would also be posted here. And if you missed that, we also have the blog, which is like an online diary. It's outside of the Solution Center. So if something happened and the Solution Center were to be offline, you could go to myatx.blogspot.com and the same type of information would be posted here. It's in date order with the newest things at the top. So those are several ways you can stay up with uh, late-breaking information. And another way from the IRS is you could sign up for the quick alerts that the IRS sends to tax preparers, and you would know if there were any e-file issues going on for that day as well. So let's assume that it is um, almost tax season and you're ready to receive your software and you want to know what's different in the software for this year. How would you know that? Well, the first way is that when we ship the software to you, it will have a training CD with it. And be sure and load up that training CD. It will tell you all the new features, how they work, screenshots, everything you need to know about the software. And then also, when you get the software, it has um, release notes that come with it. And you click that, and it also tells you what's new in the software and in the help files. In addition to all that, right here on the support site, we have these training videos and we have quick tutors. And when I click on that, what we have showing now is um, information for the past tax season. But we have um, these short little brain sharks, which is like a PowerPoint with audio and video both. And we do these brain sharks for the features that might be causing phone calls or causing confusion. Anything that we know the customers might stumble over, we'll make a brain shark for it. And it goes right here on this um, training page, training videos. We also have quick tutors, which is another option for training. When I click that, you'll see that we have um, an even larger list of uh, videos about specific tasks that you do in the software. And again, it's things that we know will cause questions um, so that we can hopefully head those off before you have to call about it. The next thing I want to talk about is um, actually preparing the tax returns. So what would be your self-research options if you're pre preparing a tax return and you have a question about the return or about the form? Well, first of all, um, I'm going to go ahead and log into the site. I was actually already logged in. I clicked on the download area and I'll see that there's a link over here for um, form schedule. When I click on this it lists out all the forms that have not been released yet and when we estimate that you will get that particular form. 
and you can see here on the screen that um, the forms are listed out with um, the current status and you can scroll down and see you know more information about all of that this is really handy um, in January when we've shipped the software to you we have an update to the software in early January um, and between that time frame you may wonder well what's going to be in that first update and you can come here and you can see which forms are available and of course we always encourage you to stay up to date with the most available forms and program updates. So let's assume that you have the form. I'm going to go back into um, the software. So you've got the form and you need assistance with how to fill out this particular form. As you can see it looks like a tax form so there are some instructions on screen but in addition to that we have um, we have F1 help available and when I click on that it brings up a screen like this and it gives you tips for entering data on that particular form and there's also a table of contents that you can click on so that you can search for um, help on creating forms, doing amendments, e-filing, anything to do with the software is all right there in the help files. Um, in addition, there's the what's new that I was talking about earlier that you could click in the help file and see what's new in the software this year. And we also have um, F1 help, which is the IRS instructions in a PDF format that's searchable, and you'll have access to that as well. So let's um, Let's assume that you're, you're doing the return and this is still not answered exactly what you need to finish preparing this particular return. I'm going to go back to the support site and this is the main page of the support site after I've logged in and you'll see this link here for IntelliConnect. This is an online research tool that the vast majority of our customers have access to. It's either included in your package or you purchased it. Um, IntelliConnect is powered by our sister company CCH and it includes um, tax instructions, tax law, citations, documents, everything known to man about preparing a tax return. You can search it in IntelliConnect and it's just like searching on the internet with Google. You use keywords and then it pops up the information that you need. And the last thing that I want to mention as far as getting assistance with doing tax returns, I'm going to mention the community board. I'm logged in now um, on the support site and I'm on the communities. And you'll see that you have several communities listed out here. Just the general ATXers community, 1040 basic, advanced, business, and then you have e-file, software, hardware, states, and banks. If I click on Taxation 1040 Advanced, you can see all kinds of um, questions that have been entered by the customers and then other customers will give them tax advice on how to handle that particular situation. So you can come in here and you can post a question or you can search through what's already there and probably find the answer you need. Okay, so let's assume that you've um, you've prepared the return and now you're ready to e-file the return. Where would you get assistance in um, doing the e-file? Well, we already talked about the help menu, so you know you have um, inside ATX, you have um, this greatly enhanced help menu that you'll have in ATX 2012, and that will walk you through how to e-file. Also, if you um, are not sure if your particular state is ready to e-file, we have an e-file availability chart on the support site and it's actually available from the front screen without having to log in or anything but I'm already in the site so um, when I click on that all the various um, federal and state packages are listed out when we got e-file approval and when we expect to release it to the customers everything you're looking out here is for the prior tax season so it's all been released but in early January this would be really important for you if you don't have your e-file yet for your particular state you could come here and see when it will be ready and if it shows it is ready then that just means you need to get the latest form updates and you'll be ready to e-file. Anytime you um, e-file a return and you get any kind, kind of rejects we do have in the knowledge base 
Um, the rejects are listed there. I've already looked up one in this particular for this example, um, a New York reject that I had looked up and this is how it looks in the knowledge base. It tells you the exact error that you're seeing and it tells you how to fix it. So you've got that in the knowledge base. As far as the federal IRS rejects, we'll have a, a knowledge base answer this year that will tell you the exact reject code, the wording for that particular reject, and how to fix it in the software. So that's uh, one large document that we'll have in the knowledge base this year. And we also have on the support site, I'm going to go back to the home screen. We have this um, link here for e-file status. That's where you look up a particular return to see what the status is for e-file. If you get a reject, you can log in here, look up the return. It will tell you the reject and it will tell you the exact field of that return where the reject's occurring. If it's a child's social security number and you have five children, it will show you the exact social security number that's causing the reject. So you can figure out which one it is and fix it a little easier. So we've talked about how to know what's new in the software, where to get help with doing an actual return, where to find help with solving um, e-file rejects and that sort of thing. The last thing that I want to mention is some other resources that you may not have thought of or you may not realize that we even have um, out there for you. You know irs.gov is always available to help the preparers and probably most of you have been on it, especially to sign up for Quick Alerts. There's also um, a page called taxadmin.org and if you pull up that page and click on this links menu, you'll get to this page. And this is a really handy um, one-stop shop where you can go to the state's websites from here. So if you don't want to figure out what the California Revenue website is, you can just go to this one site, taxadmin.org, and then click on California, and it will take you to the exact page that you need to for that particular state. It's really handy for the customers who are doing um, multiple states, or all the states. We have some customers that e-file for all the states. Another page that I want to mention, I went to the uh, marketing website, atxinc.com, and if you click on tax products and scroll down, we have a link for partnerships. And these are other companies that we've partnered with that may be offering something that um, will help you in your business. Two things I want to point out are the IT solutions and the tax help hotline. I'll click on the tax help hotline first. This is a company that will provide tax advice for you, unlimited tax advice for you, and help you with those really difficult tax returns, and it's only $29.95 a month. You know that when you call us and, you, and you're talking through how to do a particular return, we can show you where the resources are, the, um, the IRS help, and the help in the software, and we have all that, but sometimes it gets into that gray area where you really need to talk to a tax, another tax professional about it. So if you don't find what you need on the community board, then maybe this company that offers tax hotline would be um, just what you need. Another option we have is IT solutions. Kind of the same idea, but for the technical computer side of things in your, in your company. Most of our customers don't have an IT staff full-time working in their business. So if you need help with your computer crashing or some kind of virus on it or, or network setup or any of that, you don't really know who to call. And this company is another option for you. Again, it's $29.95 a month, and they will provide that type of service for you. And they'll even come on site in some cases. It's mostly done over the telephone, but it's just another option for you for those things that we really can't provide on the phone in our own technical department. We still do the software technical support, of course, but I'm talking about maintaining your computers and your network and that sort of thing. Stephanie, you know, once tax season hits, you don't have a lot of time to, to go find out information that you need and things. And these self-research tools will help you uh, do that quickly and easily. It'll save you time, save you money, and this is really a good thing. Mm -hmm. Some of this you should do before tax season, so I'm hoping people watch the show before, um, you know, their busy time hits. Mm -hmm. And then some of it you can refer back to pretty quickly um, in the heat of season. Sounds great. Thanks for showing us all this. Thanks. All right, and we thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.